People don't realize what we do. You know, they don't realize that they're under the watchful eye of the lifeguards all the time. And these kids on the front line here, these tower guards are unbelievably good at what they do. They are the first line of defense. When I got to the victim, he had just come onto the hole where he could no longer touch the bottom. He took the buoy, so I had to tell him to latch onto it really hard. The victims had separated a little bit, so I was on one and I looked to the other one and I noticed that um, my flanking tower guard had gone out as well. So I knew I could focus on the one victim that I had. At that point when I got to him and gave him the buoy and he kind of held on to it, he, he knew uh, he wasn't in a good place. He knew uh, that it was time to come in and that he, he needed the assistance. And then I'm also looking at the boat. Because the boat's got a, a really good uh, view of what's going on from out there and they're really close so they can tell me if I'm missing anything. The Surfwatch rescue boats are different than recreational boats in that they're specifically designed for swimmer pickups. 95% of our work inside or just outside the surf line, so they're specifically designed to maneuver very well, uh, get out of the hole quickly, and bring swimmers on board as safe as possible. There's a very small window when we can make that rescue between the waves when I can back in safely, get the deckhand off or pick the victim up, and then get back out. So we have to. Me and the deckhand have to be on the exact same page as to what we're doing and get them in and out as quickly as possible. I think my position's probably one of the most coveted positions in lifeguarding. I mean, I'm on a boat, I'm making rescues. It's, it's fantastic. It's absolutely rewarding. I love it. You know, the, in state parks, we really have a unique system. How come you're wobbling and running around in the surf line? There's only a, a couple of agencies in the country that have their li their full-time lifeguards are sworn peace officers. California State Parks is one of them. Okay, just relax. It's a big team operation. We always are here to help each other. And you know, I'm my, my patch and my badge still say lifeguard. You know, even though I'm a state park peace officer, also. So, um, you know, I still have the responsibilities of lifeguarding. And, works really well because everyone knows that there's always help coming. What else can you have an office on the sand? And be able to make rescues, uh, work out, you know, enjoy the sun, the water. This job is like no other. We make a lot of preventative rescues, but every now and then you'll make a rescue where you realize if you weren't there, someone will have drowned. And it's a very sobering moment when you're standing on the sand and someone's exhausted and they're looking at you trying to thank you for saving their life. There's nothing that can compete with that.